Hello friends, this is Abhishek coming with the tutorial number 10 for the PHP. Today we're gonna see how we can manage or use the date function in PHP. Okay, uh, lots of people have uh, problems how we can use the date or we can use the different time zones uh, in our application. So today we will elaborate on date functions in PHP. Let's start. Okay. First of all, um, we should know the format of date. There is a date function which takes no parameter as well as uh, takes the two parameters. One is the format like MMDD, YY, whatever you want, or the second is a timestamp. Uh, I hope that you don't know about the timestamp what is the timestamp see the timestamp is the number of seconds uh, started from the January 1st 1970 okay uh, we will use the timestamp a little bit later but before we will use the date functions first of all I would like to print the date it's an error it's a line number two error accepts at least one parameters okay so we have to pass uh, mm sorry mm dd and y mdy let's check what prints uh, 06 it's a month 12 is date and 14 is a r year okay uh, i have a uh, different signs for uh, printing the different different formats see small d for date of the month of a two digit okay small d it's uh, giving a two month number after that j day of the month okay i'm uh, using the j let's check what happens okay it's a 22 right after that uh, three later days okay capital D okay we will replace a small d with a capital D okay I want a name of the day it's a Sunday okay after that uh, now I want a full name so I'll use L It's a zero six Sunday fourteen. Okay, we will remove the J. Okay, and a day of the year that means Z. I'm adding the Z in last, so we can get a proper result. It's a one seventy two number of day. Okay, from the three sixty five days, it's a one seventy two days after that w week of the year dot capital w Oops. dot capital w it's a 25th week of the year okay from i think uh, 52 weeks uh, are available for the year and uh, now it's a 25th week okay after that this uh, month after that it's a uh, leap year or not or uh, it's a uh, for uh, time related formats i hope you guys have to make practice on this okay uh, okay now let's talk about the timestamp okay now uh, for the timestamp uh, we have to specify uh, hours minutes seconds day month here all the informations okay now let's uh, create a timestamp here uh, dollar d is equals to mk time okay see the parameters hours minutes seconds okay uh, 10 hours 20 minutes 
fifty seconds. Six month. Okay, here we will uh, get the month from the date. Uh, M. After the day for. Day for D and uh, year for let's take year 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 capital Y. It means it provides a full. Okay, this is. We have created a time stamp. Okay, now we have to print echo date dollar dollar d. Let's check. Let's read the output. It's a Okay. Uh, just okay, guys. Uh, we have to pass a format here. Okay. First of all, M, D, Y, hours, minutes, seconds, and uh, PM, AM. Oops. I think uh, we have missed a comma. 622 2014 000 a.m. Okay, now I'm assigning a 10, 20, and 30. Yeah, 10, 20, and 30. At once, you can set whatever you want timestamp. Okay, now the second way. Now the second is second, we will manage the so str or so string to time okay let's do that now we will use the time function and calculate next week so dollar n is equals to it's a time plus plus uh, Okay, for the seven days implementation, we have to pass the seven days into 24 hours into 60 minutes and 60 seconds. It will take us uh, this next seven days. Okay, now just echo date. Your format would be whatever you want M D Y and uh, your timestamp that is dollar n okay uh, before printing this we will print the current date so we will get the next whether it's a correct or not y d and d y okay and after this i will use the echo function let's check current date is this and after a seven days it would be 29 let's take yeah 22 is Sunday and 29 for the next seven days right okay we are now here we have used uh, the time functions now we will use the string to time just we have to echo this echo date and uh, your format M D Y and uh, 
S T R to time and your format. I want to go for one week, so plus one week. Let's check that. Zero one zero one nineteen seventy. I think something is wrong. Okay. Uh, we have to make plus one week. Let's check. Yeah, we got the next week properly. If you want to go for two weeks, then just pick two. It would be seven six two thousand. Yes, seven months six date and two thousand fourteen. Right. Okay. Now we're gonna set the time zone. For the setting time zone, you have to use date default time zone set. Okay, date default time zone set, and you have to specify your time zone. If the time zone is correct, then your output will be correct. Otherwise, it uh, gives the random output so asia slash kolkata okay and i'll print the current time so echo br and after that uh, echo uh, date h i s and a the current date is loaded uh, here it would be right PR thing yes it's uh, right uh, 1850 and 42 okay that means it's a uh, right time let me set time for uh, 20 okay uh, no problem we will set it to now I'm changing the time zone it would be Dhaka okay let's check what is the time in Dhaka it would be 7 21 pm okay save and run 13 21 okay it would be 7 okay. okay yeah at once you can set the default time zone for the date functions i hope you guys have understood whatever i am uh, explaining over here thank you for watching please subscribe my channel still then this is abhishek bedre signing out bye bye